Hey guys, this is Nate with Colorado Kite Sports. I just wanted to take a couple minutes today to go over the HQ Matrix 2. So this is the newest one from HQ, the second iteration on the Matrix. Uh, I had it for about four days now. Had a couple times to get it out. Uh, this is the 18 meter, so it's the biggest one. It definitely has some pull. Uh, haven't had a lot of great winds yet to really try it out in a lot of situations, but I'm kind of looking forward to that. Hopefully next week, uh, up at the snow pitch, we'll get a chance to get it out. But So what I wanted to do today was just go over a couple of the uh, safety features with the new Matrix. It is a little bit different from the original one. Uh, so I had a lot of questions myself in terms of just how exactly the primary safety worked. So I went ahead and took some videos up at the park today. We'll include those as well, kind of how the flagging out system works. So kind of new for this one, they've kind of essentially gone back to a four line system where we've got a nice swivel up here that keeps your lines detangled. Um, for, the, for the primary depower, uh, what they've done is they've got this red line that runs here and actually what happens is, is this red line kind of runs up to the right side and leading edge line, so that front line. And when, it, when you flag out, when you depower, what happens is it just pulls on that side so essentially rather than tacoing the kite like the the former edition did what we're doing now is we're flagging out kind of lengthwise so with one wingtip into the leading uh, into the wind so what you'll see on the red line is the red line does kind of run through here it runs through the center of the bar and into a little connection point here that you'll attach your leash to. They are using the new um, chicken loop system that's on uh, the new Montana eggs and the HQ ignition as well which I've really liked the little bit I've, I've used it so far. Uh, it really is super easy to engage and disengage um, even when you've got gloves on which is great for the, for the winter time. So they're using that but your leash will connect in there. So to depower, your primary depower system is just going to be to release here, let go of the kite, attach to the leash, it'll flag out on that leading edge, and, and then just for the setup you just kind of uh, run this line back through. So I wanted to get a quick video out just to show some of the safety systems. Uh, if anybody was like me, they probably had some questions on how exactly it works. So anyhow, I hope that helps you guys. Again, we do have this available at Colorado Kite Sports if you want this or any of the other HQ products. So uh, that's all I've got.